Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2014. We're having a blast We're talking about all sorts of new products. If you haven't checked out the videos, please do so. So one of the uh, companies we wanted to get with is Wolf Tooth. I'm saying that right, right? Yeah, Wolf Tooth Components. Yeah. Wolf Tooth Components. And these guys have got some cool ways to help you with your bike and to do some things that you might not have thought about. So we're going to walk through and let uh, Brendan walk us through and talk about all the different products and things that they got going on. So Brendan, I'm going to let you hold the mic or set it somewhere for you to be able to kind of talk about stuff. Go ahead. All right, so um, for those not familiar with our company, uh, we do a product line. Um, most of our products are around drivetrain mm -hmm. and converting to one by. Mm -hmm. um, I'm holding here a road one by chain ring. It's 50 tooth. It's brand new for the show. Huge. Um, a lot of people are familiar with the uh, wide narrow rings um, that are available on the market. We have a full range from everything from like a a SRAM direct mount to a Cannondale direct mount, S-Works direct mount, mm -hmm. and then basically every BCD bolt center uh, size chain ring that you'd ever want. So cool. So a lot of people are maybe want to run one by 11 but want to keep their cranks. Right. We offer them an option. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we Which offer- Which is what I think is super cool, by the way. <laughs> I mean, you really need to think about that because a lot of people don't follow that. I'm using the XX1 right now, as most of you know, ran Leadville on that. Love the, the, the ability just to have one shifter. And it's the whole reason that my wife got back into cycling is because she could ride my fat bike and have one shifter and not have to worry about if she was in the right gear or not. It was either easy or hard, and that was it. And I love that. Yeah, yeah. And so XX1 is an awesome product. Yeah. Um, certainly, you know, it has a, a little bit wider range than anything you can do on a 10-speed. But for those that want to stick with 10-speed right. or prefer Shimano shifting, we offer um, cogs that go basically behind an 1136 cassette, um, which allows you to have an 1142 range. Mm -hmm. Um, given a Shimano drivetrain, right. um, so you have just as big a gear as you would on the XX1, not quite as small, but you get to retain your 10 speed, right. maybe not spend as much money. Exactly. Um, and get the same results, basically. That's right, that's awesome. right. Um, so that's been a real exciting product and a game changer, especially, you know, we're from the Midwest, we don't need these as much, mm -hmm. um, especially in our area, but out West, when every time we come out here, we're just like, now we remember why we designed <laughs> these things. I mean, Love it. we were just riding in, uh, in Boulder on the way here, and. Yeah hadn't really touched the GC all year in the Midwest. Bam. I was in it the whole first nice. climb up at Tasso. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, so we got that. Um, so we got, a, like I said, a whole line of uh, drivetrain components. Um, we're also getting getting into some tooling stuff, oh. tools and stuff. Um, here, if you want to hold this you for me. Yep, be glad to. So the, the whole idea around this, this set of tools is being able to service your bike on the road. You're traveling with your bike to a yeah. race. You're yep. in Asia, you're in Europe, whatever. And so this is for bottom brackets and for your center lock, um, um, center lock brake rotors because you got to pull your rotors off when you travel. Right. Um, additionally, you know some of the center lock use this. Also, you can service a cassette. It's magnetically coupled in there, Very so good. it just clicks in. And you'll be seeing some other inserts from us. The ultimate goal we're trying to get to is a super light tool set that you can. Basically, given a multi-tool in our tool set, you can build a bike. Love it, yeah, so and I think on, that's really you're on needed. On the Continental Divide training for Leadville, and yeah. you're off in the middle of nowhere doing yeah. an eight-hour ride. Yeah. Maybe in Leadville itself, you don't carry this, but right. in your training, I mean, you can feel this. It, yeah, it, no, I felt it. it was I mean, super it weighs high. nothing, right? Nothing. It's like uh, something in the range of 100 grams, and then you can have a couple inserts. Yeah. And you'd be set to. It's a great idea. We had guys riding the Continental Divide last year, and we had they had like a broken center lock rotor and. Um, a cassette came loose and they're like, what do you do? There's some little kind of tools that you can do that, yeah. but they don't work quite as well. Right. So, so anyway, oh, it's, you know, trying to get into some, some things that I'll, maybe I should back up. Almost all the products we've done are because we wanted something. <laughs> uh, this, stu this stupid little rebound knob thing yeah. it's for Fox shocks is because we had an issue where when we were bottle feeding, it was adjusting the rebound right. on our on our, our shock. So you and build it. So we build it. We'll probably sell five of them, but four of them will be to us. Perfect. And I'll be, I'll be happy. Yeah, exactly. So, That's really cool. Well, so. I love the fact you guys are so innovative. I love thinking of these kind of things and for the rider out there. Because when you're traveling, even if, even if you're just going to a race and you need stuff sitting there, it's nice to be able to have a bag that is not a thousand pounds somebody's packing out there yep. to be able to have something in case you do break down. Yep. And I do exactly that at Leadville. So 
great to know about this product and uh, how innovative it is. It makes me think of Kickstarter. It makes me want, man, what, that's a Kickstarter project. Let's get a bunch of money. But, uh, <laughs> super cool and innovative. Anything else that you should uh, we should touch on while we're here or talk um, about? Well, you know, we do have some cool little accessories back here. We got these. Uh, yeah, we can bring on back here, so he'll be able to. Yeah. So, you know, with a carbon steerer, you're supposed to leave a little bit above the stem cap, yeah. right? But yep. then you got to run a spacer in it. Yep. So these are just five millimeter, ten millimeter, and fifteen millimeter, oh, which nice. obviously they're not here yet. Yeah. But they're coming very soon. And so you can kind of see one on this bike. Right. Then you don't have to have the spacer. No. It's a great also idea. Also interesting on this bike is we put. This is kind of an adventure gravel road bike thing. Mm -hmm. And this is an 1140 cassette with that 50 tooth I just showed you. It has the effective same range as a double. So for your adventure road biking, it's, you know, road racers are going to want smaller increments in the yeah. teeth. But for adventure and all that, this is like the it's ideal like the setup. It's simple. Yeah, it's yeah. simple. You get a couple teeth shift with every shift. So, you know, you hit soft gravel. You don't want one tooth. You want right. about four. Yeah. And so um, we're pretty stoked on this for, you know, adventure, touring, whatever you think. Obviously, you don't have to run a 52. You could run yeah. a 44, yeah, sure. 40, whatever. Sure. Well, very cool. So thank you so much for taking time yeah, today with us. Yeah, yeah, and uh, keep out there watching. But most of all, keep out there and riding your bike. That's what it's all about and having fun. These kind of products can just give you some different ranges of things you can do, not break the bacon doing them, which I love. And, uh, you know, like Kobe, for instance, my son that races, 15 years old. He's trying all sorts of things right now. Gearing's changing all the time. It's a great way to play with some stuff and uh, have a lot of fun. So check their stuff out and you can find your products on? WolfToothComponents.com. Perfect, there you go. Go get there and uh, let us know if you have any questions below this video, if you have any comments or anything like that. We'll be giving them the link. You can ask those questions there. They'll get them answered for you. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. We'll be talking to you soon.